You're wrong. Columbia president refutes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle request for security during Columbia tour. Just when you thought the drama surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle couldn't get any more intense, the royal couple found themselves embroiled in a fresh controversy, this time with the president of Colombia. In a shocking turn of events, Colombian President Gustavo Petro has firmly rejected the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's request for police protection during an upcoming visit to the South American nation. The saga began when reports surfaced that Harry and Meghan were planning a trip to Colombia later this year as part of their ongoing efforts to raise awareness and funds for various charitable causes. Given their high-profile status and the security risks they often face, the couple had reportedly asked the Colombian government to provide them with a police escort and other security measures during their stay. However, President Petro was having none of it. In a strongly worded statement, the Colombian leader swiftly dismissed the couple's request, accusing them of double standards and hypocrisy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have asked the Colombian government for special security during their visit, Petro said. However, I must firmly reject this request. Petro went on to explain his reasoning, calling out what he perceives as the royal's selective approach to security and human rights. It is unacceptable for them to demand privileges that ordinary Colombian citizens do not enjoy, the president stated. If they wish to visit our country, they must do so under the same conditions as any other tourist or visitor. The rebuke did not end there. Petro also took aim at Harry and Meghan's past statements and activism, suggesting that their concerns about security and safety ring hollow in light of their own actions. Prince Harry and Ms. Markle have spoken at length about the importance of protecting the vulnerable and standing up for human rights, the president said. Yet, their request for special treatment demonstrates a disconnect between their rhetoric and their actual behavior. Petro was particularly scathing in his criticism of the couple's reported ties to controversial figures and organizations. It is hypocritical for them to demand privileges from the Colombian government when they have associated themselves with individuals and groups that have been accused of human rights abuses, he said. The president's remarks were a clear reference to the couple's reported connections to the government of Saudi Arabia which has faced widespread international condemnation over its human rights record. Harry and Meghan have been criticized in the past for accepting lucrative deals and partnerships with the Saudi regime, despite the kingdom's well-documented history of repression and violence. In his statement, Petro also drew attention to the plight of ordinary Colombians, many of whom continue to face threats from various armed groups and criminal organizations. The people of Colombia deserve the same level of security and protection as any royal visitor, the president asserted. We will not make exceptions or bend the rules for the elite, no matter how famous or influential they may be. The Colombian leader's scathing rebuke of Harry and Meghan's request has not gone unnoticed in the international community. Many have praised Petro for his principled stance and his willingness to hold the royals accountable for their perceived double standards. President Petro is absolutely right to call out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's hypocrisy, said human rights activist Maria Fernanda Cabal. They have no business demanding special treatment from the Colombian government when they themselves have been complicit in human rights abuses elsewhere. Others have echoed similar sentiments, arguing that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex need to practice what they preach if they want to maintain their credibility as champions of social justice and human rights. If Harry and Meghan truly care about the well-being of Colombians, they should be willing to forego any special privileges and security arrangements during their visit, said political analyst Juan Manuel Santos. Their refusal to do so only reinforces the perception that they are more interested in their own celebrity and status than in making a genuine difference in the world. As the debate continues to rage, it remains to be seen how Harry and Meghan will respond to President Petro's scathing rebuke. Some speculate that they may choose to cancel their planned visit to Colombia altogether, rather than submit to the same security protocols as ordinary tourists. However, others believe that the couple may attempt to negotiate a compromise with the Colombian government in the hopes of salvaging their trip and their public image. Regardless of the outcome, one thing is clear. President Gustavo Petro has delivered a powerful message to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, reminding them that they are not above the law or the ordinary citizens they claim to serve. It's a lesson that Harry and Meghan would do well to heed, if they hope to maintain any semblance of credibility in the eyes of the world.